Have you suffered so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Therefore, he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Just as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness, therefore know that only those who are of the faith are sons of Abraham. And the Scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all the nations will be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. Now again, I want you to grab hold of what faith is. Faith is spiritual sight. People can't walk in blind faith. There's no such thing. Faith is being able to see spiritually. People say they walk in blind faith. That's not faith. That's called assumption. And then they get angry with God because they say they're walking in faith, but it didn't come to pass. I don't get it, Lord. I was walking in faith. You ain't walking in faith. You're walking in blindness. You're doing your own thing. Your desire of past spoke to you because of a desire. That voice of the stranger of desire, that emotion said, do this. You don't need any confirmation. Go ahead and just do it and walk by faith. But you never saw it. You just did it. That's not faith. That's blindness. That's what we call assuming. Number one, law, never assume. Jesus said, I don't do anything unless I see my father do it first. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So they began in the spirit, and now they were soulish and fleshly. And I'm going to close in Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, verse 3, who has blessed us with every what? Spiritual blessing in where? In heavenly places where? In Christ. Now, before we go any further, I want to share something with you. So he just said, you are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. You know, um, we had a discussion the other night, and I had a vision that was very powerful. And what I saw was these emotional attachments and these voices of the soulish arena of memories of the past keep us outside trying to look in. And I saw this long limousine. All right. I saw this long limousine. And the t windows were tinted very dark. You couldn't see in. And the person that was emotionally attached to these voices of the soulish arena was running next to the limousine. And that limousine was of God. It was the Lord's limo. It was his place. It was spiritual places. And that person was running next to it and trying to look in and knocking on the door to try and get in and try and get in. But couldn't see in. But you know what? I saw the person already sitting inside. See, I saw the person already sitting inside. It's because of the false belief system, because of the voices of the solar sharina. That person believed they weren't in. Are you listening? That person actually believed that they were outside trying to get in. And that person was already sitting there. The person was already sitting. It's already in there. See, because when you're in, you're able to see out. But when you're out, you can't see in. And that's what the enemy loves to do to us. And it keeps a person in that position when the voices of the soulish arena or the memories of the past haven't been cauterized or severed. 
How you listen it. It keeps the person always wanting to get in or believing that they are not in when they already are. And that's how the devil operates. Let's go a little further. In verse 4, it says, Just as he chose us where? In him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. So you're already in. You're already in, man. But see, these things, these voices in the soulless arena of the past memories that are speaking because they're not cauterized are convincing you and lying to you. They're called strongholds, and they keep God's people outside trying to look in, and they can't see when they're already in. Some people are going to die never thinking that they're in because they've agreed with the voice of deception and not living in the voice of truth. Oh, hallelujah. Let's go a little further. Verse 7. It says where? In him we have what? Redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. See, the voice of the soul that brings back those rememories said, you're not forgiven. What you've done. Look what you've done. Don't you remember what you've done? Keeps that person walking. Oh, God, I got to get in. I got to get in. Can't see in. And the person's already in. His princess, his princes, his kings. His servants already in, being chauffeured, being brought, but always believing that they're not in. And see, now they get tired. They begin to give up, and the limo gets further away from them. And the enemy steps in for destruction, plants more memory lies, more bondages takes them as a slave. His purpose is to kill them and steal the will of God and their destiny. Remember, the Bible says that the devil is the most cunning beast God created. He outwits his opponents by trying to convince them that they're not in and they already are. And he brings guilt, condemnation. Looking for comfort in the flesh. Trying to find comfort in somebody else's words. When your comfort is from the comforter. Because you're already in. Oh, glory. In him we have redemption through his blood for forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace, verse 8, which he made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him. In him. In him, in that nice, long limo, being chauffeured to heaven, being chauffeured, walking in the spirit, bringing us to places where you never thought you'd be able to go. Because you've been severed from the voices of the soul. You're no longer believing them anymore. In him, yes. Also, we have obtained a what? An inheritance, verse 11, being what? Predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. In him, there you are again, seated. In him, 
you also have trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory in him in heavenly places the voice of voice of truth says to you in the limo <laughs> you're in amen but the voice of deception says you're running next to the limo and can't see in because of the black tinted windows because deception always brings blindness but the voice of truth says you're inside looking out but the voice of deception says you're outside trying to look in in him it is vital that these things be recognized remember we are to create new memories with the voice of truth so that we can sever the voices of deception in the soulish arena of memory, emotion, and desire. It's our responsibility to cooperate with the truth that God has given us to do. Amen? The voice of truth. You're already in. Everyone say, I'm in. <laughs> The devil's a liar. <laughs> I'm not. I'm tired of running outside. <laughs> I'm not chasing that car anymore. I'm already in it. And to God be the glory. Now, Father, we thank you for your word. We are honored and blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Whew. Hallelujah. Help us, Master. Help us to see all the way through. Help us to come out of the soulish arena and not chase things of desire, not chase things of emotion, not chase things of memory, but be still, steadfast, in the spirit and walk in you with the voice of truth. 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 In Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Be blessed.